Hey guys, so I'm going to talk to you in this video about internal linking and how you can do this quicker and faster using linkstorm.io. So what is linkstorm.io? So having a quick look at linkstorm, you can see the website here, the prices and the packages that are available. But if you go to the homepage on the website, you can see or even try it out, try it out with your own website, analyze your own URL right there on the homepage. Now, it, there's a video on there showing you how Linkstorm works, and you can see how it can help you uh, in terms of internal links. You can simply accept or reject the information that it's providing you with. You can audit your site's linking, or if you've inherited a client, you can simply audit it and then go and implement those changes straight away. You can fix other links issues, such as broken links, no follow links, you know, obviously it flags up redirects. Um, but overall, it is to improve your internal linking and optimize your anchor text and make sure that you do take advantage of your free trial. Take full advantage of that. Try it out. What's the worst thing that can happen? So I'm going to talk you through the dashboard in a second. But first, what does it cost? 30 bucks allows you unlimited projects and up to a thousand URLs. So if you've got a whole bunch of small websites, 30 bucks package is enough. There is a medium and a larger package at 60 and $120. And that just simply allows you a hell of a lot more credits to do a lot more URLs. So we'll just dive straight into the dashboard. Now, the first thing you can do is connect the dashboard with your Google Search Console. Very simple and easy, just a button to connect that. Now, the second thing that you have to do down here, if you want to automatically use the dashboard to automatically place those links for you, you need to add a little script to your header. Now, if you're on WordPress, you can use something like insert headers and footers, and you can insert the script here. The snippet of code that you do install it only needs to be installed in the header or the footer of the page and you can then just simply click accept and add in the links to your website using that javascript bit of code simple and easy as that it will come up saying installation verified and you will be able to go ahead and insert the links on your website now First thing that comes up is your average click-through rate, total impressions, average position, and total amount of clicks. It's showing you that data based on your search console. That's just your dashboard there. Now you can go away and recrawl your website if you want to. Once it has crawled your website, you are getting a whole bunch of pages with some important data. So I'm just gonna scroll through some of these and it'll show you impressions clicks, CTR, average position, the crawl depth, uh, the number of clicks required to reach the page, the status code of the website uh, or of the page, um, and any link building opportunities that are available for each page. Now, I've been in SEO for a while, so a lot of my opportunities are gone, unfortunately. Now, there's always going to be opportunities out there, so we go to the opportunities tab just here, and it's giving me 13 opportunities based on semantic similarity and five opportunities based on content matching. So we can click on that and we can see which of these opportunities we want to use. Now, there is some filters up here um, where you can um, hide the search console data in similarity if you want to, or you can show it entirely up to yourself. Now, you can see what happens if you show too much data, you then don't see the accept and reject. So it's entirely up to you. Now I can accept or reject these placements and just click reject that one if I don't want it, reject that one if I don't want it. I can accept this one if I want to do it and scroll down the list and take advantage of the opportunities that are available to me. Now, I'm just going to click on the content matching and again, it's giving me the crawl depth of that page, the target page. I can accept, um, accept, accept. Uh, and you can see in green, the suggested placement, which is going to be the anchor text that is used. 
Now, that's just your opportunities tab. You can simply go in there and accept the opportunities or reject any opportunities that you would like to do. Now, if you click on the links tab here, you will see all of the kind of links that you've got and what's going on with your website, um, impressions, average position, clicks, and so on and so forth. So you can have a look at that in both internal and external links on your website as well. Quite good to look at what's going on with your website, both internally and externally. So doing that audit at the start, crawling your website to see what's going on both internally and externally is really important because also you don't want to be linking out to every Tom, Dick and Harry. You're leaking link juice when you do that. Now, another important part of internal linking um, that people ask me in terms of questions is, what anchor text should I use? Now, if you were to scroll through here, you'll see that I use all sorts of different anchors. And because of my website says read more on the news page, it's gonna have a hell of a lot more of the read more anchor than it would for link building, social media, share a sale, or whatever it may be. You'll be able to see I've got 185 pages of anchors talking about all different things relating to digital marketing, SEO, and the likes. So I have got a lot of internal links. And of course, if I'm going to link to Amazon Associates, for example, then I may use an exact match internal anchor for that. It's got to be clear, it's got to be concise, but I would still vary it. You want to make sure that it's not as spammy as hell and you don't have hundreds all going to the one page. You want to spread the internal link juice around your website so that any power your overall domain's got is getting passed down to the most important pages on your website. Now, that is what the anchor section does. Also, what this tool does is it shows you any kind of issues that you have. Now, it will flag them up here. Now, I've got a lot of redirects on my website because I took down a load of old content that was no, wrong, no longer relevant. And I've got 539 redirects. Now, it's not a problem to have redirects. Of course it's not, but it does highlight what I've got. It also does highlight any kind of broken 404s that you've got on there. Again, without doing a full website audit, we can see very quickly what issues the website has. But that is how simple and easy the tool is to use. The big thing with this particular tool, LinkStorm, you can use it on multiple platforms. With Link Whisper, I use it personally on, on WordPress or had been using it personally on WordPress. Since I've came to LinkStorm, I can use it across a multitude of other websites. I've got some e-com stores that are built on Ruby on the Rails. I've got a Shopify website. I've got various other bits and bobs out there. So I can use this one platform to look after all of my websites. So it's not a WordPress plugin, it is merely a software that helps you implement your internal link. So you don't need to install a plugin or do anything like that. The little script will help you out. So LinkStorm really is a great tool for internal linking, getting an overall view of your website. It's lost opportunity if you're not passing that power down to your website pages. Uh, so many people that I do audits for do not have a great internal linking structure on their website. So for a very low cost, you can make sure that you can do this automatically. You just need to click accept, accept, accept. And the script will automatically place the link that's in your opportunities straight onto your website. And you can do this for unlimited websites on any of the packages. You just need to make sure that you've got enough to cover all of the URLs that are on all of your websites. So check out LinkStorm today. It's an amazing tool and something that I'm currently using for my internal linking process.